Whoa, that scared me. Hm. There's no need to be scared of attacks that weren't meant to hit us. A warning shot to show off their power. That's to be expected from beasts trying to defend their territory. <gasps> Desko didn't know that one attack could have so much meaning behind it. Desko will try it out when she becomes a final boss. <laughs> Don't think too highly of yourselves just because you beat those three goons. They're nothing but sludges compared to us. It's embarrassing. Tyrant Valva Torres, huh? <laughs> You're just a relic of the past. If you had only stayed in your nest at the bottom of Hades, you wouldn't have had to die here. You're such a fool. The, they're the four devas of the netherworld. The vile demons who guard the four gates of the netherworld! Garatea of the east! Arceus of the west! Gracius of the south! And Repicon of the north! The four of them together are strong enough to annihilate the entire world! Oh, <laughs> well, that's great. Weren't you saying something like that about the three brutes, too? But these guys are even stronger! Countless humans have spent sleepless nights because of them! So, that means I pretty much have the upper hand, since I'm already asleep. So we can win by sleeping? Desko will fall asleep now, too! Oh, that's wrong! And how can you fall asleep so quickly anyway? Hello? Please wake up, Miss Desko. You're gonna get killed. Just leave these kids here. At least we won't have to take care of them anymore. Aw, uh, are you being a tsundere again? I'll kill you. They are not your enemies, Fenric. Take your anger out on the Corruptiman instead. Miss Desko! Miss Desko! Please wake up! The battle is starting! <laughs> uh, is it time for breakfast already? Damn! Three Brutes? Now the Four Divas? Man, this... I kinda underestimated this level. <laughs> it was a bit too brazen... ...in my tactics. Quite a few characters actually die. Um... Really fun level, though. Nice structure, I kinda like it. So, you know, they each have their own, um... Each diva has an area of effect that benefits them, and I have a no-entry panel. I foolishly destroy it before and allowing the, f you know, releasing the floodgates and letting everybody attack all my characters. Thought did not occur to me to attack from afar. Nice and safe. I'm a fool. Here I come. Anywho, um, another day, another class, and now I have the. Woo. Now I have the ability to review death, like I wanted to last time. Uh, death, here we go. Alrighty. Um, here's another case where I disagree with the guide, because the guide is stupid. Deaths make it hard for enemies to sustain their health and SP. This makes them irritating for your people to fight against. Always keep your casters and healers away from them, lest you lose your SP and become a sitting duck for the rest of the fight. However, it's hard to use deaths to the same advantage when you deploy one of their number. Uh, enemies rarely capitalize on extended skill use or healing. Knocking down enemy SP is thus rarely a goal. 
you should kill enemies well before they have a chance to lose everything. As such, Death is a good theoretical class that doesn't have a good time or place in most battle lineups. If you find a map with a particularly high enemy healer present, deploy a single death and leave them near your base. This, by itself, can be enough to make a difference. Uh... Yeah, not entirely true. Uh, their base ability, Mind Killer, inflicts SP as well as HP damage during attacks. Uh, 50%, in fact, of the damage you do hurts their SP. Um, SP is all, almost always much lower than their HP stat. As a result, buff up this character's intelligence, and even if you don't kill the enemy outright, more than likely you're going to reduce their SP to zero. And when most enemies have their SP reduced to zero, they're pretty much um, harmless. So I don't. It, it's like it's like casting silence on them or forget. I mean, some characters are only uh, threatening when they can use their spells, like Room Dimension. Well, if you don't have the SP to use it, you're not a threat anymore. So even if you can't kill him, more than he's more than likely to get rid of all their SP. So I don't understand with this guy. I mean, I only use it for a little bit. And while even while I couldn't destroy a lot of enemies, like I said, SP is always so much lower than HP, you're almost bound to make them go down to zero. And you have lots of big area of effect attacks to lower many enemies' SP down to zero, thus making them, uh, you know, and when they have no SP, they can only attack one enemy, uh, one of your characters, Max. So, shut up, guy. Uh, let's see, the magic change into a bow, they can move four spaces, 50% resistant to fire, 75% weak to wind, so watch out for that, and 50% weak to ice. Overall, more resistances than weakness. <laughs> Alright, uh, their next ability is Dismal Omen. Decreases enemy healing magic effects by 50%. Uh, not gonna be that helpful. Mind Shackle doubles enemy SP consumption. If by any chance they do have some SP, uh, you know, this is gonna hurt them. It, in the later levels, almost most of the enemies have their, um, Spells bumped up quite a few times, like at least six times, so the mana cost, so the SP cost is much higher. Double that with death, in addition to his attacks, and you'll find them being reduced to zero SP a lot more often. A very safe bet. And finally, Magical Forest adds 10% of current SP, the character's intelligence, if a monster weapon is equipped. Uh, it's, it's a low percentage, but, um... You know, they have a good SP aptitude, so... Not not the worst spell, uh, There's probably some more useful things. You could learn things like Law by Range to increase their uh, magic range, which would be helpful. Or you can, um... You know, even just equipping Wind Resist... Wind Body to... To get, um... To eliminate your debilitating Wind Weakness wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, but really, Dismal Omen is the only other really good ability that they learn by themselves. The Chernabog, the very first level, has an HP aptitude of 80, SP 120, attack 110, defense 80, intelligence 120, resistance 90, hit 110, and speed 80. Uh, pretty basic for a magic type monster. Then we have Death, uh, Tez, uh, Tezcatlipoca, Okay, Murtu, Sam Samael, and then Thanatos, which I believe is Greek for death. The Thanatos has an HP aptitude of 90, SP 145, attack 135, defense 90, intelligence 145, resistance 115, hit 135, and speed 90. That's actually a pretty good attack aptitude. And fortunately, monster weapons, the, the gray kind, increase both intelligence and attack pretty evenly. As for magic, for whatever reason, they get wind by itself and then learn up to giga version of ice. I don't quite get this. But if you want to teach them other magic, you'll have to re you have to spend some time in these other classes first and then go into the death or go through the character world. Either one, uh, you know, 
Reincarnating is probably faster, but, you know, either or, doesn't really matter. Uh, their... Their skills are a little lackluster. Death Seas, the very first one, powers F. It's based on the attack stat. Unless that's a typo, I wouldn't blame them, because the rest are based on intelligence. And they can hit three tiles away. It's... You know, you, you might as well try to only use this if the enemy has elemental resistances, I guess. Then you have Remote Trail. It hits three, pe uh, three enemies in a horizontal, and I think three spaces away. It's fixed. Uh, powers E, based on intelligence. Slightly better. You know, it's cheap. Then there's Dark Pit. Element is Star. And the powers E again. It can hit three tiles away. I don't remember how many people it hits. It says it has an area of effect. And then finally, Keeper of the Abyss. This one's kind of neat. Uh, it can cause Deprave. It hits two horizontal rows of three right in front of you. So it's a two by six. It's a two by three right in front of you. Power star. No, sorry. Element to star. Power C. Good damage. Good area of effect. You have to be close, but that's okay. Because after you hit them, and even if they don't die, they're not going to have any SP left afterwards. And not to mention, the animation is beastly. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's the only really worthwhile skill, class skill, they learn by themselves. The rest of you should just stick to magic. And let's see, Nightmare Sh uh, their magic change abilities. It's a bow, so first one is Nightmare Sheep. The power is F, it can cause sleep. And it can go three tiles away. I think it can hit three people. Super weak. Why would you use this? And finally, Dropout. Um, element is Star. It can hit five tiles away. And if memory serves... I think it was a... I think it was an X. So it can hit five tiles away. It can hit five people. You know, that's nice. Uh... No status ailments. And that's about it for death. Overall, the guide is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, like usual. Uh, you know, throw in Lex Luthor wrong right there for comedy effect. Oh, Steven Rush! Limbaugh! Um, I think it's an underrated class. If you need, if, if at this point you haven't found a magic caster that suits your taste, this one is double deadly for that awesome SP. I mean, it's a good rate of SP damage too, half of your damage. And you've seen how high these numbers can get. So, I think it's a cool class. You don't, e you don't even have to go into the character world that much. I mean, monsters are stupid easy to level up in this game thanks to... Mount Ordeals for... I mean, the standard leveling method is get a character with Big Bang, um, double giant magic change with them, making sure that one of them is a fist, and bam, you just... It's one human and four monsters you level up. It, it's its nuts. It's super fast. So, I, I barely... You know, I leveled up a Thanatos... You know, in two fights, it's like level 600 or something like that. And if I remember to take it out because I have so many viable units, then it does its job. It does the SP damage. The enemy can't retaliate. It's nice. And did I mention you have death on your side? And his son, Amizel? You know, it's just nice to have. But you see how much I got slaughtered before, didn't ya? How many units do we even have left? Not too many. Sure. And that... It, it's, it's um, you know, I underestimate skulls. Because they usually die so easy, but I forget this is like a pseudo-boss skull. So he's actually dangerous, not to mention he's on a 50%... Actually, no, I think I got rid of that. Like, I'm not even sure if this is gonna kill him. with a critical. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Right. Yeah, okay, so that was my last character. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three already died. And I think more died too. Damn it! <laughs> Just knock Val out of the way. Mochi! Or not. Oh, destroyed that pillar in the corner. I forget those are items and not just part of the sea. Okay, yeah, that's why. It's all those goddamn bouncers. Just standing there. Blocking my path. Who do you think you are? The cops from Occupy Wall Street? God. Increasing each other's defense by 20%. Assholes. Now to get swarmed. Yeah. Damn. Ready? Now you see, the handy thing about that attack actually is that many enemies that were trying to that probably saved me from from dying because all the enemies um, do an attack on him. But because the first one changed my position, a lot of the attacks just flat out missed. And the computer isn't smart enough to take that into consideration. <laughs> Stupid computer. Also, something I've never bothered to mention, but you might have noticed, is that Dalatoris' special skills, his, spe his um, character special skills, restore some of his HP. Uh, the guy doesn't mention that, the game doesn't mention that, but you clearly see it happen. See? 356. I'm not sure what percentage, percentage that was, but it was a decent chunk. all those assholes just standing up there. I can't stand bouncers. They really, they're really annoying to kill. It's worse because the the stronger the, the more stronger weapons you go into, their HP and defense just rises exponentially. So annoying. Enjoy yourself. Male warriors also have really good HP stats. Same with armor knights. Those are some of the tougher enemies to defeat in the item world. Please die. Uh. See, I even have to resort to using items. How far have I fallen? Also, this was- I really should have used, like, Anger Tree or Bloody Hole right there. That's awesome with the giant Desco Sword in the middle. God, that looks painful. Stupid treasure chest is blocking my way! Now I have to equip my shoes again. And I know there's going to be a height disadvantage, so I'm just going to go for a combo. Go Wood Golem! Now... I just plain for I just plum forget that standing next to a succub succubus decreases my stats, so that was probably not the best choice. Oh, 
Yeah. Just barely survived. Val's probably gonna... No, there's no way that move's gonna work. I refuse to believe it. You're shitting me. It actually works. I stand by my statement that that's the worst attack in the game. Three yellow squares? Are you kidding me? When is that ever going to work? Besides right now. Save my ass, in fact. I love that move. Oh, and then that's the problem. It's just these three down here, and I have to go all the way back down with my other guys to try and help them. <laughs> Maybe this will do it? Probably should have used the measles attack where he turns on he puts on that mask and does that dark laser. With the king. Oh lucky me. You rule Arcweed. And now Imizel can get easy pickings. Damn it! Why did the other one not attack? This game's so weird. I'm getting my revenge. I don't know why I go after that one and not the weaker one. Weakened one. Sorry, I have no idea what I'm thinking right now. Oh, is that one? <laughs> Can she do it? She did it! That is one badass angel! grows well. No one can defeat me in my own dream. Oh, so the more sleep, the more power. Desco will sleep better and get stronger. Shouldn't we say something to them, Fenric? I'm not interested in teaching tricks to monkeys. My duty is to help our lord with his missions, not to train primates. <laughs> monkeys? That's a little harsh, don't you think, Mr. Werewolf? She's right, Fenric. Teach them tricks as a pretty instructor. Uh, hey, shouldn't we get serious? We're almost up to the final battle. <laughs> 